Macho Man Randy Savage is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, having possessed the total package, promos, in-ring ability, iconic catchphrases, a great look, and a larger-than-life, recognizable character. Randy Savage captivated audiences all over the world while wrestling for the WWF from 1985 to 1994, then later with WCW up until 2000. Randy Savage is one of the most quotable performers in WWE history, having his trademark phrase, oh yeah, roared by fans, old and young alike. To this day, 10 years after his death and 30 years after his prime, if I'm walking around in public wearing that classic purple Macho Man t-shirt, someone without failure will walk up to me and utter the phrases, oh yeah, dig it, or Elizabeth in Macho Man's trademark voice. Literally, it never fails. It always happens to me. Randy Savage took his rightful place into the WWE Hall of Fame posthumously in 2015 with his mother and brother, Lanny Poffo, accepting the accolade on his behalf. Ever since the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony became a yearly tradition in 2004, fans consistently speculated as to why Savage was never inducted. Until his induction in 2015, Savage was considered the single largest omission from WWE's Hall of Fame. The speculation as to why Savage was never inducted during his lifetime has since given birth to one of, no, screw that, the wildest conspiracy theory in WWE history. I mean, this rumor is absolutely bananas. The rumored tension between Vince McMahon and Randy Savage dates to 1993, when Savage was transitioned into a commentary role full-time and into an in-ring role part-time. Savage was frustrated with the treatment of his character and felt that he had more to give to the wrestling world. He left WWF for the competition, WCW, in 1994. With him, he took his Slim Jim sponsorship that Vince McMahon felt was his. On record, this has been the reason cited for the rift between Vince McMahon and Macho Man Randy Savage by wrestlers and personalities alike in shoot interviews, articles, you name it. However, in the early 2000s after WCW was purchased by the WWE, Savage was the most notable figure that was never brought back to WWE. Even Hulk Hogan was brought in in 2002, and Hulk Hogan left WWE for WCW in similar manner. Savage clearly wanted to continue wrestling as he had a short-lived stint in TNA that I think most will probably prefer to forget. Vince McMahon has brought back plenty of wrestlers that he's had tension and drama with. Bret Hart, Medusa, Sable, Ultimate Warrior. Hell, Warrior has an award named after him. Eric Bischoff, and the list goes on and on. The question then becomes why? Why would Savage bringing a Slim Jim sponsorship with him to WCW cause him to be blackballed from WWE up until the end of his life? When you consider that a guy like Hulk Hogan has done far worse and he is still welcome back to WWE with open arms, even as recent as WrestleMania 37, it is just strange that Savage never found his way back with the exception of an appearance he made in a commercial for the WWE All-Stars video game in 2011, shortly before he passed away. He never made an appearance in WWE or anything related to WWE since his departure in 1994. What if I told you there is something else that contributed to Savage being blackballed from WWE? There is an urban legend out there in the wrestling bubble, and I told you this conspiracy theory is wild, that Macho Man Randy Savage once had a relationship with a teenage Stephanie McMahon. In my mind, this is the single craziest conspiracy theory in wrestling history. But could it be true? I will leave that up to you to decide. All right, let's clear this part up right off the bat. The alleged time frame that the relationship took place is 1993 to 1994, meaning they dated for about a year, if everything is true. And if this all ties up, Stephanie McMahon would have been 17 when the relationship started and 18 when it ended. In the state of Connecticut, this was all perfectly legal. There is no proof or evidence out there that this relationship actually took place, making this a bit of a reach, I'll admit it. However, there have been some clues dropped by people closely associated with Savage throughout recent years, which I will get to shortly. It has been stated by many wrestlers that Stephanie McMahon was off limit to other wrestlers. This is evident by Triple H and Stephanie stating that Triple H nearly lost his career over their relationship. It is an outside the realm of possibility that if the rumor is indeed true, that Vince McMahon would be absolutely livid, rightfully so. 
Bruce Pritchard and Jim Cornette have both gone on record stating that Vince told them personally to never mention Macho Man in his presence on TV, nothing. That seems a bit odd that Vince would react that way over a simple Slim Jim sponsorship. As the urban legend goes, Macho Man and the young Stephanie dated for one year and they hid it from Vince McMahon. There is one crazy rumor that I found on the internet even suggesting that Linda McMahon helped hide an abortion that Stephanie had that was Macho Man's baby from Vince McMahon. I know it's the internet, so before I lose you with that crazy statement, let's get to the current stuff. Lanny Poffo did a shoot interview a few years back and in the trailer for the video, he made an unusual statement. To paraphrase, he said that everything was running smoothly with Savage in the WWE until quote, it happened. This sent the internet buzzing as it was the cliffhanger for the trailer. People thought we were going to get some insight into what happened in this situation, if Lanny was gonna confirm the rumors or deny them. Then when Lanny Poffo was asked directly by Sean Oliver about the rumor, he danced around it and said that he did not concern himself over Randy's personal life and had no knowledge of the relationship or really anything about Randy's relationships. This dimmed the light on the rumor for a while until the summer of 2020 when Gorgeous George, Randy Savage's ex-girlfriend and valet during his WCW days, conducted an interview with Hannibal TV where she stated that Savage told her everything about what happened between he and Stephanie while they were on ecstasy. She coined it a truth drug. Hannibal stated that Lanny told him off air about the situation. I don't know about you, but both of these teases feel like straight up clickbait, but we don't know. Certainly Gorgeous George has no real incentive to lie. Wrestling legend Conan described the situation as something where Stephanie might have had a crush on Macho Man when she was younger and Macho Man was just nice to her backstage. And then this rumor spiraled out of control with wrestlers just making up stories and misleading Macho Man's kindness to a young Stephanie. I think that's probably what happened here. Savage did have an affinity for younger women as Gorgeous George was in her early 20s when she started dating a then 40 plus year old Savage. I will close by saying this. There has been proof that in 1996, Randy Savage and Vince McMahon had entered negotiations for a Randy Savage return to the then WWF. It certainly seems unlikely that Savage and Stephanie's relationship would have taken place. I think that if it did take place, Vince McMahon would never mention Randy Savage. He wouldn't sell Randy Savage's merchandise. But then on the other hand, I think Vince is also a savvy enough businessman to know that Randy Savage's merchandise and his likeness will make money for the company. Vince being a savvy businessman, as we know, will always do what's in his best interest financially, regardless of personal feelings. It still is odd that Savage is not mentioned in the same light as even an ultimate warrior who was celebrated and praised years after his death and with all the history that ultimate warrior has in his personal life. It's odd that Savage is just not celebrated and we don't see him in clips. We don't see him being brought up on TV aside from when CM Punk made a tribute to him. It's all a very odd and puzzling situation. So I'll leave it to you. What do you think happened? Do you believe Randy Savage had a relationship with Stephanie McMahon? All right, that's going to do it for this episode of WWE Uncovered. I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.